Our clinical picture is of a 58-year-old woman presenting to our hospital with a 10-hour history of acute lower abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, accompanied by mild abdominal tenderness, especially in the left lower quadrant, where she had signs of local peritonitis. She was hemodynamically stable and had elevated inflammatory markers. With a suspicion of uncomplicated diverticulitis, a CT scan was performed. In addition to diverticula, wall thickening and pericolic fat stranding in the sigmoid colon, the CT also revealed extraluminal air in close relations to the sigmoid and free abdominal air in distance to the sigmoid, consistent with perforated diverticulitis. As the patient was in good clinical condition, we decided for conservative treatment with intravenous antibiotics. The patient was released in good health five days later. Our case illustrates recent changes in the management of diverticular disease. CT imaging has become the preferred method to confirm the diagnosis and to differentiate uncomplicated from complicated diverticulitis. Whereas antibiotic treatment is obsolete in uncomplicated diverticulitis, it is still recommended for complications like perforation or abscesses. Recent guidelines open for a conservative approach in hemodynamically stable, immunocompetent patients with extraluminal air, which may save the patient from surgery-related morbidity and from ostomy. However, patients should be monitored closely and in case of deterioration, surgery is the treatment of choice.